it's Bill Vinci and Ryan Vinci. We are back in Hamilton, New York for another episode of The Empire Plate. Today we're filming a place called the Flour and Salt Bakery. Now this place is known for their bagels, their croissants, their, their sandwiches. I mean, when you walk into the place, first thing you smell is that explosiveness of heaven, which I like, right? So we're gonna go over and meet Brendan and Brittany and check out what they have today. And uh, it's gonna be a fun day. So we'll just see you guys inside. Brittany and Brendan, how are you guys yeah. doing today? Good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know, first thing when I walked in, I could just smell the freshness, the bagels, the croissants, the sandwiches. So tell me a little bit about this place and how you guys came up with the whole idea for Flower and Salt. Sure. So we just hit our third birthday in okay. July. We've been open for three years here now. Um, Brendan and I both went to Colgate, so we were familiar with the community. We moved away for a couple of years. I was a teacher. Brendan was running an organic farm with a buddy of his mm -hmm. um, and was also a musician. Uh, and we moved back here just because we love the community. So we kind of took a shot. We didn't have any job opportunities really or anything waiting for us down the line, but we knew that we loved Hamilton. Um, and this was something that I had always wanted to do, was okay. either open a cafe or a bakery or somewhere where people could come and meet and eat together. Okay. So, uh, that all of those things were kind of coming together at the same time. And then Chuck, who just escaped, uh -huh. he didn't want to get in. <laughs> um, he offered us this space for rent, just kind of out of the blue, and we decided to take this crazy chance wow. and do and it. It started at the farmer's yeah. market, Brittany was making yeah. bagels and cookies, okay. and we realized that there was no place to get a good bagel in this town especially. Right. So once Brittany figured out how to do that, we started making a lot more. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the menu and some of the different things you guys got here. Sure. So what do we got? Well, we primarily do bagel sandwiches. Okay. Do you want to take the menu? Sure. Yeah, yeah we, we do uh, a ton of breakfast sandwiches. Uh, we have a few okay. lunch options as well, but, you know, I think a bagel can be eaten at any time of the day. Really. All right. We got a couple of choices here. The place is packed, so we're going to go around. We're going to order some food next because we want to try that. We're going to interview some of the uh, customers. We see a lot of college students here today. So we'll get some people on camera and see what they suggest. So we'll see you guys in the kitchen next. Denise, Denise, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So you're going to be making our breakfast today. That is true. What do we got on the menu for us to try? Well, you guys are having two Maple My Days, which is a new sandwich. Okay. Special of the season. Okay. So uh, we're going to have some coffee sugar dredged bacon mm. with a maple pepper compound butter and cheddar cheese and an egg. Oh, that sounds so good. On the best bagel for this, cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar. Absolutely. And then you guys are getting a steak and egg mm -hmm. Adler, which has a spicy a cheese sauce on top. Okay. And uh, then you're going to get your basic egg, bacon, and Taylor ham. Sounds good. Let's see you put it together. Okay, so breakfast just came out. Uh, we, me and Ryan both got the same thing, the Maple My Day. Uh, and then we got the uh, Adler, which has got the steak and cheese on it. And then we got a couple of the Saturday specials, right? Yep. What were these, what were these bagels from called? Uh, black pepper parmesan. Black pepper parmesan. We got one with scallions and some garlic herbs. So I'm, I'm ready to sample this thing. They said this bacon tastes like candy and it looks delicious. Ryan dug right into it. Why waste time? Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Got that sweet and salty shake right there. You know what? The initial bite 
You taste that maple syrup infused with the bacon. So it's got this saltiness, sweetness, but it's just a great combination with the cheese and the egg. A little bit of black pepper with it, just gives a just great gives, flavor. Absolutely. Oh, this is out of this world. When they said the bacon tastes like candy, mm. they were dead on. This is absolutely delicious. So, we're gonna eat our sandwiches. We got a ton of food here to eat. We got a couple of nice little drinks to go with it. So, we will see you guys in a couple minutes. going to show us a little of the process here of how the bagels are started. So tell us a little bit about this. So we've already mixed our dough. We do a four ounce bagel. Okay. So once we get our dough mixed and it's rested for a moment, we separate them out into nine count uh, lumps here that we fit into this dish. And this thing flies into this machine. It's an old style machine. It's called the Duchess, which is a great name. Wow. We press it down with this lever and you press this lever down and it pushes these teeth through the dough and it divides them into 36 even parts that we then yeah. roll out so that they can be ready to be formed. Once we roll them, we have to let them rest in the cooler a little bit. Okay. Otherwise, they, they get a little too proofed. Uh -huh. And if they get too proofed, then the dough will actually deflate and fall apart. So hand speed is super important here uh, just to make sure that we get it done in time. Right, so you gotta get it right off the bat. Right. We got double rollings right here, right here. Everybody's getting them in. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. I mean, that's, you get workout doing that, right? It's a lot of pressure down. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Now look at this. I mean, they're all perfect, same size and everything. Yeah. It's, we uh, before we had that machine, we had to weigh them out individually, and oh, it wow, just took too much work. time. Absolutely. And we do a, somewhere between 400 and I'd say about 1,200 a day. Really? So if we have to do a lot of these, that that big machine is, is a oh, that's huge, huge help. Absolutely. So now that the bagels have rested in the cooler and their temperature's back down, the dough has relaxed a little bit after we've pressed on it for a while and formed them. So now what we do is we, we poke a small hole in the center. amount of pressure on the whole bagel so that we form that donut shape and that shape really helps us get a lot of surface area contact with the water in the morning before we uh, we bake them. We boil them for about two minutes a piece. Okay. And how many different flavored bagels do you have here about? I know you switch it up though. Right. We have a daily special but I think we have about 13 or 14. 13, 14. Yeah. Wow. I just think, added blueberry, that's a new one that uh -huh. we're asking for for forever. They're delicious. I'm not usually a sweet bagel kind of girl, but if I'm in the mood. That's, right. that's the one they get. Okay, I'm with Christina. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I was talking to Christina before we went on air, and she's a regular here. So what do you like to get when you come in here? I always get the Tepe Agency. It's my favorite. It's um, some type of seasoned tempeh on a bagel with vegan mayo and all these fresh vegetables, and it's so delicious. So it sounds really healthy. It's really good, yeah. And it, it's your favorite thing, it's your go-to. It's my go-to, go yeah. Now, we were gonna come over and get some shots and eat, and but everything was already gone by the time we got back over here. It was too good. It was too, too good. good, you ate it so quick, and you gotta get to class soon. So, yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite thing to eat when you guys come here? I usually do a build my own mm -hmm. with a plain bagel, bacon, egg, cheese, and a little bit of chipotle. You gotta have that chipotle mayo. And then I always part. have a London mint. It's easily the best part. I get the Colgate. So that's a signature. It's baked mac and cheese, tomato, avocado, chipotle mayo. It's unbelievable. I don't switch it up though. And I, you have to get the banana bread too, so. I like it. Yeah, perfect. We're gonna let them get the class. Thank you girls for being on the show today. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished up a great show here today in Hamilton, New York at the Flower and Salt Bakery. Brittany and Brandon, I want to thank you guys so much for having us Thanks come down coming. today. Really appreciate it. What a great experience we had. Uh, not only are these guys super hosts, they got a great staff. They were friendly. Everybody had a good time here today. So thank you guys for our first time here. Uh, if you haven't been here, make sure you check out their Facebook page. They got some unique bagels, croissants. They got all kinds of sandwiches. Some of the best bagel sandwiches I have ever had. <laughs>